Hi everyone, this is Lam from Pronop Commerce. In this video, we'll look at how we can optimize the loading speed of a Knob Commerce site. I want to thank David from Cyclone Bots for allowing me to record this video using his website. If you wish me to do a free review of your website, please uh, click the link in the description and fill in a short questionnaire. David has actually told me that he has done all he can to speed up the site. So we'll see what we can, what else we can do to make it load even faster. The first thing I'll do for every optimization project is to run a quick analysis on gtmatrix.com. From the analysis, the site is loading at around 3 seconds, which is actually quite good. But the total pitch size is about uh, 3 megabytes, which is quite large. So we need to look at what we can do to lower the pitch size. Looking at the pitch speed uh, score, this one is probably false alarm. This one is also false alarm because there is nothing you can do with uh, Facebook and Google Analytics. Okay, here is one thing. We could have better optimized the images, which I'll talk about later. Uh, according to Wiselow, we should have used CDN. But the thing is, David has actually set up the CDN for most part of the site. We can confirm by doing a view source. But still, somehow there are some parts of the site that is not uh, using CDN. I'm not quite sure what is the CDN plugin uh, that David is using. I but I actually you know have a CDN plugin for not commerce, so I will probably ask David to try my version. Now looking at the waterfall analysis, we see that there are three very large images. 500 KB, 800 KB, and another 800 KB. We should have optimized these images to make them smaller. Let's see what we can do with these images by using tiny PNG to compress them. You can see that tiny PNG is able to reduce the file size by about 70% from 600 KB to 100 KB. Another thing we can do is to convert this image to JPEG. Since this image does not require transparency, converting to JPEG will actually make it even smaller. I have an SEO optimizer plugin which has built-in support for TinyPNG. I recommend this plugin to David. So as a recap, there are two things we can do to make this uh, particular site even faster. The first thing is to make sure all the resources are served from CDN. The second is to optimize images using TinyPNG and possibly converting them to non-transparent you know, JPEG. Okay, so that's all for today. See you in next video.